Hey guys, welcome back to The Average. Today we are going to be doing a book cover paint over. We haven't done these for a while. I say we, I mean me. I haven't done this for a while, but I really wanted to do Percy Jackson because so many people in the comments were like, do Percy Jackson, do Percy Jackson. Percy Jackson. And so I went and I read all of the Percy Jackson series and I have to say, that I'm a big fan. <laughs> At first I was like, I'm not gonna really enjoy this because it's for kids really and maybe I'm past that point of my life but then I really got into it and I'm a big fan of these books now. So there you go, um, thank you for that. So I, I'll thank you guys for the suggestion. Now I couldn't get my hands on a proper Percy Jackson book but we have this kind of like filler book, I think it's just um, more about demigods and things like that and then there's little chapters about like each god and I think yeah it's kind of a filler book and then inside you have these horrible pictures of the movie posters kind of thing and I've heard things about the movie I've never seen it I've heard that it's absolutely terrible so I don't want to really watch it to be honest and this one has a cover from the movie so I'm gonna do a sort of a mixture of all five of the Percy Jackson Jackson? Percy Jackson and the Olympians um, series for this book and just yeah try and make like a cool cover for this in honour of those five books that I really liked and yeah well let's get into it. For this paint over I'm going to be using Artex Jelly Gouache. Now this is the one if you watch my channel I opened the yellow one and now I have this mint green one to open and apparently they should be slightly different colours but I don't think they are. But I'm gonna check. See, this is like a green, in mint green and a yellow. Yeah, I think they're the same. <laughs> but we'll open them and use them anyway. Let's, uh, we wanna test them out. As I open these paints, I realized that I didn't exactly explain the premise of this video in case you're new here. I don't like movie covers on books, so I'm kind of on a mission to paint over any movie cover books that I own because I feel like they're my property and I, want to make them better or better in my opinion I guess that's the little disclaimer over if you don't like this just go away <laughs> I always get horrible comments on these book paint overs but I feel like in my opinion I'm doing something out of an act of love for these stories so there we go that's a disclaimer out the way I realized as I was doing this that when I paint them with gouache it always nearly peels up so halfway through this you will see that I start to use my Molotow pens and we're obviously using the jelly gouache so I use that and I also use um, a couple of uh, ink ink pens some are water based and some are not but yeah that's the the all the equipment that I'm using I'll probably post links down below on where you can get these things if that's helped to anyone Anyway, I started out by doing little thumbnails in my sketchbook of stuff that I wanted to create. I did a lot of preliminary work for this, so I'm kind of happy with the way that it turned out, but I do think the composition could have had a little bit more work, but that's another story. The Percy Jackson books, I have to say, I really enjoyed them. I think they're really like a comfort read. They're not too heavy, but they're really enjoyable, and they have that lore and myth of um, like the the Greek gods um, on Mount Olympus and how it's like a modern day twist and then if in case you guys don't know about these books it's about Percy Jackson finding out that he is a demigod so his father is um, a god of Olympus I'm not gonna spoil who it is because it's I find that quite exciting when you find that out so <laughs> I'm not going to spoil that but if you guys haven't read these books and you kind of like maybe Harry Potter and things like that then you probably enjoy these books. I recommend them, they're just like a comforting read and I think sometimes we just need to have a good story and not be so bogged down with like horrible things in books because I feel like that's kind of a trend these days is to have like you know Game of Thrones style high fantasy horrible things happening and not that horrible things don't happen in these books, but they're a little bit more relaxed, if that makes sense. So, I really enjoyed these. It took me a while to read them all. Um, hmm. I listened to a couple of them 
like I listened to some bits of them and I really enjoyed listening to the audiobooks as well and yeah I just I like them they're really just comfort reads I I guess I would just keep saying that they're comfort reads I really like the characters in them I really like that they have things like ADHD and dyslexia I have dyslexia myself so it was kind of cool to see that being brought up in a story and I really think that it's it does uh does those things justice I don't know if, if for me I really enjoyed reading about somebody with these kinds of things and how it's actually a superpower and things like that it's uh it's cool and yeah I I agree with that that uh storyline storyline or uh theory <laughs> The monsters and stuff are really cool in these books as well, like all the lore and stuff. If you really like Greek mythology, I mean, I'm not too into it. I haven't read too much on it, so finding out little things, I think if you liked Greek mythology, you'd probably enjoy it a little bit more because you'd be like, oh, I know that story and things like that. But then it also tells you about those things. So it's like, I learned a lot from these books as well for Greek mythology. So I find that really fascinating. In this composition you can see Annabeth and Percy, they are kind of the main characters. There's also Grover who is like the third friend, but throughout the books people kind of come in and out of each of the books. So really the main character is Percy, obviously. Characters come in and out and they all come to these missions together and things like that. And I really, really liked it. I love the characters. I think they're really fun and a little bit tongue-in-cheek at times which is rare because when you have like a fantasy book people take it very seriously so I really liked when some horrible things were happening the characters were a little bit Buffy-esque if that is a term I can use where they just they uh, push back at the baddies with a little bit of a joke and even though it's like a dire situation I really liked that kind of style so I think it was really fun and I hope that my book cover kind of reflects the fun and I don't know like quirkiness of the book because I think that it is quite quirky and I wanted to emulate that a little bit so I wanted to use really bright colours and just have lots of different things going on and maybe if you look at the composition it's a little bit wonky but if you look further in you can see different characters so we have the hippocampus and the pegasus and then we also have Medusa and then I did another like random monster in the background behind Annabeth and then lots of waves and stuff to um, indicate a certain god's power <laughs> who I won't spoil because I said I wouldn't spoil and yeah that's the the overall look of it hmm. I think we're done with this one it didn't turn out exactly how I envisioned, but I pretty much like it. It's kind of a collage of all the books, well, all five of the Olympian series of the books together. And if you have read the books, then maybe you'll spot some little interesting characters, I guess, from the story. And I really like the way that the Empire State Building and New York kind of looks there and I added the maze because that's my favorite book so that took like a big uh, chunk of the the visual for me because it's my my favorite one so it made sense to do that yeah I like the way that this turned out I hope that you guys do as well let me know down in the comments if you prefer this one or the movie cover I have a feeling that not many people like the movies so hopefully you prefer this that's it for this week's video thank you for watching so much and thanks again to my patrons they are Megaya aka Megan Megaya Megan <laughs> Lucy, Tim and Charlotte, Jacqueline, Alex, I think it's pronounced Knox Ember, but to you as well, <laughs> Katie, Steph, thank you guys so much for your support, it really truly means a lot, and if anybody else would like a shout out at the end of my videos, then uh, check out my Patreon, I've got more rewards there, link in description. Thanks again for watching guys, and I will see you next time, hopefully, please come back, okay. Bye.